Well, day one is in the books here at the Albuquerque Convention Center as day one of the NCAA Indoor Championships wraps up competition. It was a big day for the Red Raiders, headlined by the high jumpers. The teammates, Ja'Cory and Duffield and Bradley Adkins, shared the podium in a tie for fifth place as that marks the first All-American honor in his career for the Idaloo, Texas sophomore Bradley Adkins, and then made it two straight trips for teammate Ja'Cory and Duffield as he earned All-American honors in his outdoor season as a sophomore. Now this marks the first time any school, any school in 15 years has placed two on the podium in the top five. That's exciting, you know, it's a big accomplishment. I mean, All-American is one of the big, most accomplished things you can do. And, you know, it's awesome to get to come out here and compete with some of the best guys. You know, obviously a kid jumped for the collegiate record, you know, so it's a great experience, great feeling, and just glad to be out here. As soon as, uh... We both went out. I was like, man, if I'd have cleared that bar, I would have just beat you, and that's it. So, I mean, uh, it's great that we can come here and um, just just be be a force, be thought about. You know, I think now we have somewhat put Texas Tech on the map in the high jump, and uh, that's what we wanted. Now, Texas Tech will look to add to their resume as they begin competition at 3:30 p.m. Mountain Time, 4:30 p.m. Central Time. As Cole Weldon looks to make it back to the podium following a runner-up finish last season but and then the 4x4 relay expected to do huge things for head coach Wes Kitley will go for their third All-American finish in three years. We'll have a full recap right here at TexasTech.com. For Texas Tech TV, I'm Courtney Davis.